Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. What time is it? Breakfast time, and you're already putting me behind, so get a move on. I'm not hungry. I've got a long day ahead of you. Just leave me alone. Suit yourself. I'll pop by a bit later. Am I out of here? Out of a look? You're gonna be alright on your own. Well, spare me the big bruv act. Just worry about yourself, it's what you're good at. Yeah, I'm as upset about mum as you are. Yeah, I noticed how choked up you are. Some of us don't have the luxury of falling apart, David. Mum, you don't reckon Gail did do it? Not a chance, she hasn't got it in her. I can't believe they've locked her up. I mean, a look on her face, just... Well, what about David? I mean, I actually felt sorry for the lad. Hiya, love. Morning. Why didn't you wake me? Just thought you needed your sleep. So you two could talk. We were talking about Gail. What about her? You really think she's guilty? It doesn't matter what I think. He'll all come out in the trial one way or another. Well, at least not where you guys stand. I've nothing to say to you. You can't think she did it. The police have got it wrong. I'm not doing this. She's innocent. That's up to the court to decide. Tina, she loved your dad more than anything, all right? What would the police have recused of? It just doesn't make any sense. Look, David, I'm sorry. I have no answers to give you. Your mum's locked up, and I know that's hard, but... My dad's dead. And the police believe Gail killed him. Yeah, that's them. What do you believe, Tina? Please, I have to know. She's guilty, and I hope she rots. You satisfied? You don't mean that. Is there a problem? What was all that about? David just needed a reality check. Job done. This isn't going to do. I'd like to be left alone. Sorry, not happening. Sit up. Look, I know how you must be feeling right now. I doubt that very much. Well, I'll give it a go anyway. You're confused, angry, your brain's gone to Pluto, and everything and everyone behind that steel door scares you to death. Am I warm? This is day one. Day one's always brutal, don't care who you are. That said, and you won't believe this yet, it gets better. How much better depends on you. I didn't get your name. That would be Officer Bertels. Thank you. Just doing my job, Gail. Get through today and we're both winning. When I come back, I want to find you up and washed. I said, you can make it up to me. For the sake of our business, you can sack them all. Uh, you've got a minute. Not really, not right now. It's a bit tricky, first day and all that. She's going round calling Mum a murderer. She's just blurted it out on the street now. Anyone could have heard. I thought you were going to sleep this off. What? I can't sleep, can I? Every time I close my eyes, I'm... Look, why don't you go have a few pints? I'm not sure what time I'm done. Look, I don't want to get drunk. Well, take it easy then. I'll join you when I've finished. All right, so in other words, then, bog off, bro. I thought you owned this place anyway. Part own. I need to think. I can't do that with you in my face.
I won't get away with this. We'll get my mouth. I just need time to think. <clears throat> just so you know, we don't do drop in. everywhere. I must have switched my phone up. Where is it? Somewhere. It's too mad at your mum's. I can't breathe. Yeah, I think there's a bug going round. I meant the place was too crowded. I can't hear myself think. Yeah, well, maybe that's a good thing, eh? How do you mean? Well, too much thinking makes you miserable. Should be a psychiatrist. Whatever. Should we go out tonight? I mean, we don't have to go to a club. We can go for the meal, go to the pictures. Oh, I'll see. Might do you good, Tina. Getting out for a bit. I like it here. Well, empty. Gives me the creeps. I like going to turn the tap on, looking at his tiles and opening the drawers that he's fitted. Oh. Wearing his jumpers. I miss him. And I'll never get him back. Hey. Hey. Come on. You still got me. Hmm? You've been there all night. So? What have you been doing? Well, I've been trying to think of a way to help Mum. What did you do? Read a good book? Did you come up with something? Not really. Morning. Morning. All right, go on. You gonna put the cap on? The bail appeal's the key. Yeah, well, that's down to the solicitor, that. Why don't you ring her, see what she's planning? Why can't you? I've got a factory to run. That Carla has got a factory to run, you help. Uh, have you made any arrangements for visiting yet? No, I need to ring and sort that and all. You want morning or afternoon? Either for me. Mm. We're out of milk. Oh, yeah. Finished it last night. Did you have a nice hot drink, then, to go with your good book? Bless. Oh, hi. Hiya. Uh, how are you feeling today? Don't know. Oh, mwah. Fancy going to rush for breakfast? I'm not hungry. You will be, though. Well, when I am, I'll get some milk. No, you won't. <laughs> OK, I won't. Tina, you can't stay cooped up in here. Don't tell me what I can and can't do, Jason. Come on. Come at rise before I go back to work. Entire. So you're getting lonely? Hiya, oh, yeah, Lynn. I remember. Gail. I hope you don't think it's beneath you. You a murderer. Sharing with a small town loser like this one. I'll take the notice of her. 
I bet you'll think twice before you'll nick her stuff. Don't rise to it. That one. It's not going to. Some of them are all right, you know. I don't intend being in here long enough to find out. You never stop eating, dear John. I bet you two slept well last night. Get lost, David. I've put out them shot. After all she did for you, how could you even oh, think she'd do something like that? It doesn't matter what Tina thinks, David. It's what the police think. And they think Joe's dead because of your mum. You see, heck, he's dead because he would have mentally do who couldn't even fake his own death properly. She lied from day one, David. She got me to lie for her and you. So why should anyone believe her now? Who's going to touch her? Get off the Take him on, you take me off. Get 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 what, is this anything to do with you? No. Right, well, get lost then. I found the place. Come on. Yeah, go on, hide behind the girl. Do you want me to go to prison on my own? Tell your mum you've been arrested for brawling. Yeah, I could have stuck him on my own, you know. Yeah, of course you could. Come on, David. Hiya. Hmm? What's that? Oh. Photo of my dad. An old one. Mm. When I were a kid. I was so happy then. Him and Mum getting on. Yeah, those are the times to remember, eh? I thought I'd have it blown up. I can do that, can't I? Yeah, I reckon. What are your sandwich? Oh, fantastic over there. So, who's been a little wine gun thief, eh? 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 I've been stopped by Norris, you've been caught with your hand in the sweetie jar. Now he sent you a bag of these. Hope to cheer you up. Hey, baby, come on, it's only a bag of wine gums. I don't know what to do anymore, Jason. I don't know what to think. Well, you know you're going to have to move out of here. I mean, we'll be complete on the sale pretty soon. Probably for the best, though, yeah? What's that supposed to mean? Moving on. Tina, you're going to have to do it sooner or later. My dad's been murdered. The woman he loved did it. And you think living somewhere else is going to change how I feel? No, of course not. Oh, I just look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to be on my own. Tina, okay. you can't just... Jason, not you. Thanks for the sandwich. Just to let you know about when you go visit Mum. Oh, sorry, I can't make it. What? Why? I've got things to do here, important stuff, sorry. Oh, well, what about your mother? Give her my love. Uh, tell her I'll see her later in the week. You've got him well trained already, haven't you? What were all that about? Uh, visiting Mum at Bell Appeals later in the week. Um, she'll get out then. Sasha Phillips, the boss at Lessings, have arranged to ring it in uh, five minutes. Excuse me. So have you... No. Don't rush. You're having a laugh at Take your time. I'm not putting over there. Seriously. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. This is the visitors. What are the prisoners like? I mean, there's a woman over there with more tattoos than David Beckham. Sit down, Gran. What are you expecting? A town all soiree. Oh. Stop trying to be funny, David. I'm thinking about your mother. What do you think I'm not? Why do we tell a golden boy he'd rather be flogging knickers than come to see him? Just tell him the truth. He's tied up at work and of course he'll visit another time. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's not in here that long, eh? Surely to goodness, I realise she doesn't belong here, hmm? I think she's lost weight. She looks so small. I've only been in five minutes. Oh, oh now, shush. Come on, come on. Come on, sit down. I don't know what to say, what to do. 
But don't worry, Mum. We'll get you home at the bail appeal. You think there's a chance? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, there's got to be. Darling, I'm sure they just wanted to scare you, putting you in a place like this. I can't imagine being in here for much longer. I really can't. You won't be, Mum. I promise. Mm, coffees? Yeah, please, love. Yeah. Yeah? Lovely, yeah. My soap is better than when I went young offender, so. Mm. You look nearly as bad as I do. Well, I'm not surprised. With all the stuff I've got going round in my head. See, the thing that keeps worrying me is what do the police know that we don't? There's nothing to know. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, you know, when none of the pieces fit or one's gone missing. <sighs> Lovey, if there's someone we don't know, we can't help you. What do you mean? Someone we don't know. Well, have we got the full story, you know, about what really happened that night? Yes, of course you have. Gail, I'm your mum. Love it, I can only imagine what it must have felt like when he told you what he was intending. Never mind what he'd already... Oh, no! Not you and all. Look, sit down. Just sit down. I mean, is there something? Anything? Even if it doesn't help your case, love, but at least it will show other people what you've been through. You think I killed him? No, no. Well, it's one thing for the police. People who don't know to think it, but you. How could you think I murdered my husband? That's as good as. So what have you said then? Nothing. I was just asking if there was anything she wanted to tell me. Yeah, because she think there might be. No still. Oh, shh. Look, I'm sorry you're taking it like this. And how am I supposed to? What, was a joke? Is that what it was? No, it wasn't a joke. It was just a, a, a simple, honest question, and I wanted a simple, honest answer. Well, well, you can have one. No. No, I did not kill my husband. Does she believe it? Yeah, of course I believe it. Well, why did you ask it then in the first place? You know what? I think you should go. Oh, okay. No, please, just leave me. If you don't believe I'm innocent, I don't want you. Yeah. Come on, now. Well, I go, yeah. I'll go. But not because I think I've done anything wrong. I just don't want to upset you and make things worse than they already are. I think you've already done that. Well, I'm sorry if I have. I just hope that when you've had time to think about this, you will accept that apology. My own mother. Yeah, your own very stupid mother. Mind you, if she could think I might have done it, won't be the only one, will she? Just said they've changed their mind, they don't want it. So what happens now? Oh, we're back where we started. The place is still ours and we have to look for a new buyer. I'm really sorry, babe. I know you're like me, you want it sold. Oh, it's no rush. What? Honest, you're not bothered? Well, all I'm bothered about is what I said before. I don't like us living at your mum. You never get any peace and quiet. Yeah, I know, but it's not... So, if we haven't sold this place, well... What? What, you want me back in here? Yeah. What's it called again? Oh, hello. Oh, Nick! Hiya. Oh, oh dearie me. I've had a terrible falling out with your mother. Just because I asked her if there was anything she wanted to tell me, which she completely misinterpreted. I mean, anybody would think I'd put her in prison. You coming in, yeah? No, no, I've got to get home, love. But, well, I might phone later, see what's being said. Of course, yeah. Uh, he was a very difficult man, Joe. I mean, he was really moody. There's no telling what might have happened. She's got to get used to people asking her just what did. Don't blame yourself. <laughs> well, I'll try not to. <laughs> 
talk to you later. Yeah, OK. <laughs> moving out at all? Uh, well, yeah, for now we are. And does Eileen know? Or is she going with you? Am I going to make the only one left? Well, we were going to tell her only she's at work. So we'll dump this stuff and go to the cab office. How do we have to? Can't Sean tell her? Uh, no, Sean can't. Do your own dirty work, thank you very much. Night, Julie. Love. Oh. Night, then. Oh, what's this? A lynch mob? Sorry, it's just my mum's not here. She's in prison. Or had you forgotten? We hadn't. Let's hope she stays there, eh? Well, no, not really. Because she's got her appeal tomorrow where they're going to make her freeze a bird. You hope? She didn't give my dad a hearing, did she? You what? She never stopped listening to his morning. She should have chucked him out ages ago. Oh, I ignore him. Just ignore him. So we don't want to leave the place stood empty after all the work we've done on it, ma'am. So we're moving back in? Y yeah, we are. Well, oh, seems to make sense. Well, you don't mind? Why should I? It's not like you're moving to the other side of the world. Right. So, where are we going now? Yeah. Tina, could you do me a favour? Um, just check if the outside light's on. It's just it's playing up. I mean, I'd go myself, but I can't leave the desk. Yeah, OK. That little girl needs looking after. She's lost her dad, and by the looks of her, she's a nervous wreck. Who, Tina? No, she's OK. No, she isn't, and you're responsible for it. It looks all right, Oh, isn't it? good. Thank you. So? Yeah. Hi. Here you Oh, and, uh, ma'am, Jess has been to collect his stuff. Yeah, I know he has. Just go and look after your fiance. Yeah, I will. So I'll see you then, yeah? Mm. <laughs> oh, go on then. Hi. Oh, hi, Greg. I know I said I'd ring, but I. Uh... I wanted to talk to you properly. And you, David. Let me guess. You not only think that she killed Joe, but there's a load of other unsolved murders she could have done and all. Oh, do you have to? Sit down, Grandad. Do you want a drink or something? No, no, I'm all right, thank you. Um, so, uh, what did your mother say when I left the both of you? What do you think? She was upset, right? Well, I think you know that, Gran. Her own mother coming out for prosecution. No, I didn't do that. And since you seem to be the only one she's listening to, you've got to get that through to her. I was there, Gran. I heard you. No, as a matter of fact, David, you weren't there because you were getting the coffees. And if you had been there, you'd know I did nothing more than ask her if there was anything she wanted to tell me. Yeah, like, has she killed him? No! Yeah, just... OK! I just want her to know that she can tell me anything. And she has. She's told you to get lost and she doesn't want to see you again. <sighs> David, calm down. Ka Nick, what's there to be calm about? My mum's in jail when she shouldn't have been. She's got the police and the lawyers trying to keep her in there. So she got on her side? Well, you'd expect a mother. And I am! And then there's the eldest son. We're all on her side. Nick, you haven't even been to visit her yet. I've been busy! Neither of you two is on her side and she knows that. And that's worse than being locked up or accused of murder. Worst thing for her right now is that you two are against her. David, no! Oh, no. Oh, Nick. What have I done? Wakey, wakey. Gail? I've made you some real coffee, love. And some fresh toast dripping with melted butter. Then you've got a nice hot bath and I've booked you a massage in the spa with Alfonso. Stop it. It's cruel. <laughs> it's called having a sense of humour. You're not going to get through a murder sentence without it. For the last it. time, I've done nothing wrong. Ah, oh, especially now you kicked your mother into touch. Well, thank you for throwing that confidence back in my face. Roger. Anyway. My sister's applying for bail today. Should be home this afternoon. Oh, all right. Well, you got nothing to worry about then, have you? Right, and, and ring me straight away, yeah? OK, all right. Speak later, Mum. Yeah, good luck. Bye. Says so she's going to know this dinner time whether she can get out or not. Great. I'm still sounded down, though, from yesterday. Weren't you going to visit her today? Not much point now, she's coming out. You haven't seen a black fold here. 
Oh, well, what if she doesn't get out? Well, when will we know? I've just told you. Am I the only one in this family who cares what happens to her? I want her out of prison as much as you do, but I need that folder for a meeting today. Oh, yeah, well, that's far more important, isn't it? Look, I need to cut this deal. Someone's got to bring some money in. You wouldn't know about that, would you? Well, I know my mum's wasting away in prison if she doesn't get out soon and she's gonna go insane. Oh, but hey, never mind, we found the folder. She's gonna ring when she knows, yeah? Yeah. Then let me know. Till then, there's nothing we can do. You know, if you want to take the day off... Oh, love, no, I'd rather stay here with things to occupy me, but thanks all the same. Oh, I feel isolated enough without sitting at home on my own. Can't you talk to Nick? Oh, he's up to his eyes with work. At least the clocks go forward this weekend. Oh, well, I'm sure that will make a lot of difference. Morning. Morning. Did you have an appointment? No, but I was told I'd be in safe hands here if I needed a quick trim. I don't think we're too busy this morning. So, uh, I'm in luck? Uh, yes, let's just say you've come at an opportune time. If you'd like to give me coats. Actually, I was on my way to look up an old friend who lives around these parts. Haven't heard from her lately. Oh, it's easy to lose touch, isn't it? Mm. Well, she might have a lot on her plate. In which case, she might value a sympathetic ear. She might well. Can I get you a tea or coffee? So I, I didn't catch your name. Natasha. Natasha. A cup of tea would save my life. I'll just go pop the kettle on. Great. So, things not good. Look, I, I could meet you around lunchtime for a chat. Off the meter. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's a date. Okay. Will you stop pacing up and down? You're putting me off his stroke. Oh, God forbid I should spoil a game of cards. It's not just cards. It's therapy. It takes my mind off things, does this? It helps me think about my kids. Have you... Have you ever been to Morecambe? Many times. Uh, I took our Shanice there when she was about three. It was the first time on a beach and, oh, she loved it. She played all day with a bucket and spade and... then at home time, she, she didn't want to go and... She started screaming her head off and... I'll never forgive myself. Well, she couldn't stay there forever. I know, but... She lost some of that day. What? Oh, I don't know. Kids, eh? The pain, aren't they? <laughs> oh, this will be doing another dad. She's meant to be in a coffin during the day. Your solicitor's here. Fantastic. Well, uh, I'll say goodbye, Lynn, just uh, in case I don't see you again. Yeah, good luck, Gail. I'll see you back here in about half an hour. I'm a mother, and I love her more than anything in the world. Of course you do. But there was always something fishy about this, Joe. And if she had been holding something back, then honestly, it wouldn't have been the first time. But you had to ask her, Audrey, for your own peace of mind. I know. But then to be accused of calling her a murderer... It isn't true, and in... it isn't fair. This is new territory for all of you. I mean, things have been said in the heat of the moment, but when it all calms down, it'll resolve itself. Do you really think so? Yeah, and, and deep down, she knows she's being unfair. And if she doesn't get out today... Oh, God. She's going to need all the support she can get. I know. And if it's good news, then there's still a long way to go. I mean, she can't afford to turn her back on you. What? You managed to say all the right things. Well, I mean them. Really? I'd be a pretty shabby friend if I didn't. Please. How are you? Better for seeing you. I was hoping to have some good news. I'm sorry to say that I don't. They refused bail? I'm afraid so. You said we had a good case. I told the judge you'd surrender your passport, report twice a week to the police station, live away from the witnesses. And what did he say? 
Given the seriousness of the crime... I haven't committed a crime. ...of the alleged crime, he had no alternative but to turn down the appeal. So, what next? There's not much else we can do now, until the trial. Obviously, we will build as strong a case as we you can. You can't appeal again? I'm afraid not. And when is the trial? It's at least four months away. I've got to stay in this hellhole for another four months. That is about the measure of it, yes. And there's nothing you can do? Nothing whatsoever. I'm sorry. Right, babe. Let's get back to work in a minute. Yeah, OK. You're just about done anyway. <sighs> How does it feel being back? Yeah, I'm cool with it. It's our lot of space, it's private. And if Gail gets out today? Mm, that's something else. Having her living on our doorstep. <laughs> yeah, well, we'd still have the same problem with staying at my mum's. I just wish I knew the truth. I don't know what to believe about any of it. I don't think anyone does, except David. I can't win, really. If she's innocent, then I'm going to feel terrible. If she's guilty, then I'm always going to feel bad because she met my dad through me. And if she's guilty and she gets out, well, I could end up killing her myself. Well, the sooner we sell this place and flip, the better. Mwah. How long? I, she playing up? She's been I don't know if I can stand it. I thought I'd be home with you by now. Right, well, I'm coming to see you then. No, David. Of and your solicitor can't do a thing? <laughs> Not a thing. I can't believe this. I could have changed it all. They thought they saw everything they did. <laughs> I've got to go back to the cell now. Well, you're going to ring me later tonight? Stay strong, Mum, yeah? I've tried. She's not coming out? She's got to stay in till the trial. That's four months at least. How's she seen? How do you think? I don't think she's going to get through this. Hey, hey. I've got to be strong for her. Not as we now, is it? Sorry, it's a bit late for that. Look, one reason that I haven't been to see her is because uh, I was scared I couldn't handle it. But I will now. I promise. Well, being strong for her is not going to get her home. The law's got to run its course. What else can we do? Well, we have to think of something. It's a competition here. First prize. A trip to Alton Towers. Oh, the kids would love that. Now our Shanice is old enough to take him now. What do you think? What do I think? Yeah. You know, they went the first year that Alton Towers was opened, you know. I'll tell her to Google it when I ring her in a bit. <gasps> what is up with you? I've just been told I have to stay here till the trial. And all you can ask me about is a magazine competition. It's called Life, Gail Love, and it has to go on. What? Mint's what get rid of it. You want to look at your diet? I am not now. Unless it's halitosis, that's food rotting between teeth and gums. Regular flossing is the answer there. I said not now. Alternatively, find a guy that doesn't mind bad breath, i.e. me. I have not got bad breath. Even better. Graham, just go away. Ah, where am I going wrong? You look how I feel. Mum's been denied bail again. Which means she's got to stay inside now until the trial. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. She's gone through hell in that. Is there nothing you can do? Is there no one you can speak to who could swing things? Like you, Gordon Brown. Why don't I just go straight to the top and ring the Queen? No, I mean, is there no, like, witnesses or evidence? There was that couple. What couple? They said they saw my mum have an argument with Joe on the boat, but I didn't see her get off again. Well, there you go. Well, maybe if I could track them down, you know, jog their memory a bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
nobbling witnesses a very serious crime. Well, but it wouldn't be nobbling, would it? I mean, they've only got half a story. If I could help them see that. Ah, uh, you want to be careful. Man, you, I could go tomorrow. This is a very bad idea, my friend. Well, you could come with me. Me? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's no use asking Nick, is that? I mean, he's useless. And you do want to help me, don't you? Well, yeah. Right, well, that's it then. Sorted. Tomorrow morning, first thing. You and me, the lakes. So they both look promising. Like I said, Marcus, I'm just looking for a seer. Get us the names and I'll do the rest. Of course, yeah. Love to Justine. Well, I've got a mum a new lawyer. I might. Well, these things take time. It's easy to say that, isn't it, when you're not the one doing it? Using this? No, no, I hope so. Ah, oh, just thought you should know. My mum's been refused bail. Not now, David. Yeah, apparently she's considered high risk. I bet you're loving this, aren't you? Streets of Weatherfield safe again. Time to crack open the champagne. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. My mum's starting to lose it big time. Her whole life's in pieces, and here you are acting as though nothing's happened. I am warning you. Back off! Are you even sleep at night? Are you out of Back off! Go back inside. This isn't helping anyone, is it? I could have handled that. I know. Thanks anyway. Forget it. What's all that about? Nothing. Well, it didn't look like nothing. What did David want? Well, Nick sorted it, so can we just please leave it? So that's when did you become seen as knight in shining armour? It's called damage limitation. Oh, whatever you say. I'm only interested in fighting battles I can win. See you later. Yeah, bye. Sorry, the Gresmeister can't take your call at the minute. Please leave your message after the sheep. <laughs> Where the hell are you? What happened to leaving on the radar? Sorry, I couldn't find my flask. Can't have a road trip without a soundtrack and a cup of my world famous Java. Right, where the wheels? Thought we'd leave in style. What, Nick let you borrow his car? That'll be a big fat no then. You can't boost your own brother's car. That half brother. Look, are you coming or what? No. When it comes to stealing motors, there are just some lines that you just don't cross. Yeah, but I need you, bud. And my mum needs you. This is a bad idea. Right, well, I'll have to take your car, cos mine's in garage. Yeah, no problem. You certainly you up for this meeting? Yeah, 100%. Only I know it's unexpected, and I'd hate for you to feel that you need to impress me. Carla, I know I impress you. <laughs> Secondly, unexpected isn't in my vocabulary, it's more of an unanticipated challenge. Oh! David! What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate, one of us has got to do something. We're on a mercy mission. I'm out to the robot. Oi, come back here! <sighs> if I'm not mistaken, your little brother appears to have pinched our transport. So, okay, now does that qualify as an unanticipated or an unexpected challenge? Okay, now have I identified a number of suitable routes, but I reckon... Here, here, here. What? Just put the post code in the sat nav. Oh, I thought I was navigating. Graham, you couldn't find your own backside with ball fans, let alone a secluded cottage in the Lake District. What took you so long? Okay, you've had your fun. Now turn the car around. Sorry, no can do. I'm not kidding, you've got exactly five minutes. Yeah, or what? I'm gonna call the police on me. Yeah, that'll really cheer them up, that boy. Okay. Fair play. You win, no harm done. Just bring the car back here and we'll work this out together. Oh, too late. You've had your chance. I don't. 
Scarlet. At least tell me where you're going. Yeah, say again. You're um, you're starting to break up. Look, ASAP. I don't know what that tiny little brain of yours yeah. has cooked up, but right. trust me, this is only going to make the situation worse. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for pep talk. Won't be late. David, I'm warning you. So, was he miffed? Can't get over it. David, answer the phone. I swear, if there is so much as a scratch! He's a scamp, your little brother, isn't he? Half-brother. Come on, then. Preston, please, Jeff. And he's paying. Hiya. Hi. How are you feeling? Making a sign, do you want one? No, thanks. Are you sure? It's no bother. I said no. You missed all the excitement? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think David stole Nick's car. Stolen? Well, he came across that way. He wasn't a happy bunny, that's for certain. I mean, wonder what he's up to. I don't know, but I'm not letting you anywhere near. I'm sorry. When have I suddenly become helpless? I'm only looking out for you. Well, thanks. I can find my own battles, OK? Well, I didn't come across like that earlier. What are you on about? I'm talking about you and Nick getting matey matey. Oh, please tell me you're not jealous. I'm just saying, it's my job, though, isn't it? Your job, or whatever that means, is to stop being so flaming childish, OK? Unbelievable. Like I haven't got enough on my plate. Well, that was an awesome waste of time. Come nearly 100 miles to get a zip from a Mardi cleaner. Afternoon, <coughs> lads. What can I get you? Um, cock. And uh, a glass of your cheekiest red wine, please. Pinot, OK? Perfecto. What? I'm trying to expand my horizons. So, what brings you around here? Well, just a day out, really. You know, amazing scenery and some gorgeous cottages. 5.50, please. Thanks. Keep change. Oh, tough. Uh, I don't suppose you know who owns the one down the track, do you? You know, just opposite the glass-fronted place. You mean the folly? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I mean, we tried speaking to the cleaner, but she was a bit off. Polish girl. Mm. That'll be Anka. She cleans all the places in the area. Well, you must have caught her in a bad moment. Her brother's poorly again, so she has to fly home. Anyway, back to your first question. The people you're looking for are called the Kenworthies. Oh, the Kenworthies? Oh, smashing couple they are. Lived there for years. They're always in here. Well, that's a result. I, uh, I don't mean to be rude, but why the 20 questions? I only ask because we've had some burglaries. Yeah, 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 we, we, we totally understand, honestly, but, um, it's a bit hush-hush, but we're actually interested in purchasing their boat. For, for, um, um, a, a Russian client, very rich. A Russian millionaire wants to buy the Kenworthy's boat. Now I've heard it all. Billionaire, actually. Devishly eccentric. If you say so. Excuse me. Sorry, eh? It's all I can think of. Yeah, that's what scares me. I'll be gone. This is a blowout. Yeah, what, I'm giving it half hour at least. And yeah, what's the big rush? Oh, I was going to have another crack at Rosie. Honestly, mate, you're like this far away from going step on her. Hey, that's up. I think we might have a nibble. Hi, um, I'm Mark Kenworthy. This is my wife. Jane. Uh, uh, David, this is Graham. Charles, uh, please take a seat. Uh, Sandra over there reckons you might be interested in buying our boat. We might have indicated that, yeah. Well, I mean, it's not for sale. We're devoted to our lady, mate. Oh, our friend in Moscow will be most displeased. Oh, drop the act, Graham. Sorry, I just leave myself in the role sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Look, this is going to sound a little bit weird, but we're actually here about my mum. 
I, I don't quite follow you. Gail McIntyre, the woman you saw on the boat, the woman the police reckon killed her husband. I know exactly what you told the police. That's between them and us. Yeah, I know, and I wouldn't ask if it wasn't so important. I'm not sure we should be doing this. Right. You said you saw me mum on the boat that night. Yes. Yeah? Now, are you absolutely certain that you didn't see her get off it? Are you insinuating in some way that we're lying? No, no, absolutely not. But, you know, you could have forgotten. These things happen. There's nothing wrong with our memories. We saw what we saw now, if you don't mind. No, wait. Look, she's in prison because of your statement. And I am truly sorry. Please, I'm asking you to remember. We're not going to change our story. But she's innocent. I'm only trying to save her. That's it. We're calling the police. What sort of people are you? OK, we're done. Mark, call the police now. <sighs> now you've done it. Hoping to bully you've picked on the wrong people. Look, I'm not trying to bully anyone. What are you doing, then? And why have you come mob-handed? What, him? He's just a mate. If I were trying to intimidate you, a bit last person I'd break. Oi! What's that supposed to mean? These hands are deadly weapons. They should be kept in mittens by rights. I'm not listening to any more of this nonsense. You can explain yourself to the police. No, 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 no. no. Please don't. Look, I just wanted to check you were sure what you'd seen. We're absolutely certain. You don't forget something like that. Brawling couples may be in an everyday site where you live, but not here. I know. And, Your uh, friend causing trouble? No, no, no. They're just haggling, that's all. They don't look like haggling to me. And I doubt you two know your ass from your elbow. You're not buying a boat. No, not for the money that he wants. We'll be on our way. You better be, or I'll call the police. But you're condemning an innocent woman. All we're doing is our public duty. Now, we'll not put up this kind of harassment. Leave it, mate. We're off. No, no, no. I'm not going anywhere. Yes, you are. If they don't call the filth, then the barmaid will, and then we'll all be in trouble, including your mum. Now, come on. Graham! Yeah, she's all right. She's getting better every day. Oh, that's good to hear. Because she, she has been missed in the cabin, you know. Right. Any, uh, any chance she might be coming back soonish? Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, she should be back into work tomorrow. Touch wood. <laughs> well, actually, it's fiberglass, but that's good news. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Oh, my God. I shall be looking both ways in his back behind the steering wheel. Where you been? Oh, don't worry, there's no bumps or scratches on it. I no, I won't be able to say the same about you. Well, careful, you're squashing your BLT there. Yeah, squash more than that. What if you had had an accident? You're not even insured. Besides which, I nearly missed an important meeting. Yeah, nearly. It were only business anyhow, wasn't it? It's not like Mum's rotting away in prison. Why don't we all just take a chill pill, yeah? Oh, shut up, idiot. I want to know exactly what's been going on. Yeah, and he'll tell you. But probably better inside. It's better be good. Go herring up to the Lake District. Well, it's nice this time of year. All the dafts are out, like in that poem. Sorry. You're going to tell me what happened? So I tell the police you stole my car, your choice. All right. I tracked down them witnesses that saw mum on the boat. You did what? Like, you moron! Like, I just wanted to talk to her, make sure they had the facts straight. At least I did something. Oh, you've done something all right. Do you realise how this will look to the police? Well, you can ask them yourself. Because they're here. <laughs> so, so what were you doing up there? Well, you know, unless you won't be here. I'm impressed you managed to track them down. You should be doing our job. Yeah, well, someone's got to. Don't come here with me, sunshine. You're gonna let us in or what, or do you want to continue this down the station? David. Thank you. Can I get you guys a brew? No. Are you sure? No. Uh, yeah, I mean. I don't follow. We're sure we don't want a brew. Thank you. Right. So what were you hoping to achieve today? Me mum's telling the truth. You know, whatever they're saying, that they just must have got the wrong end of the stick. And you were hoping to make the Kenworthys see that? Come round to your way of thinking? Well, yeah, so, so what if I did? If you were in my position, you'd do exactly the same. We simply want a clarification. We? It was my idea. I would have gone myself. But I had business to attend to here. Really? We thought if we could establish what the Kenworthys claim to have seen, we might be able to reconcile it with mum's account. I didn't see the harm in it. <laughs> Well, you surprise me. Interfering with witnesses is a serious matter. Could have consequences for your mother. Look, if we're guilty of anything, it's naivety. <laughs> and for that, we apologise. 
Don't be David. Many times, I just asked him what the saw. End of. So why was Mr Kenworthy in such a state when he called? I should imagine he was surprised. Scared might be a better word. So did you two come on strong? No way. We never laid a finger on him. But the threat was there. No, no, no. We were dead polite. That's not how the Kenworthys tell it. Well, I don't think they meet the likes of me or him very often, do they? You know, if they were spooked, then it would down to themselves, not us. That's the landlady. Oh, we will. And other punters. And if there's any suggestion that you were trying to pervert the course of justice, your man won't be the only one slopping out. All in all, that could have gone worse. How? I've just lied to the police. And if they decide you were trying to coerce those people, you, me and David could join Mum in custody by Easter. Well, when you put it like that, I suppose. I need to talk to my brother, so if you wouldn't mind... Uh, stay where you are. We don't give the orders in this house. No, no, you're all right, mate. I can see that you two need some family time. I'll see you later. So what do you want me to say? I'll stop my neck out for you. Yeah, just like I did for Mum. That's what families do. But I don't want a medal. <laughs> a medal? You think what you did today's going to help, Mum? If you're charged, it'll put Mum's case back even further. Well, the way things stand, she's going down anyway. At least I did summer. Well, I understand your motives, but it's a stupid, thoughtless risk. There's nothing we can do now. We've just got to put our faith in the justice system. I will more fool you. I'm warning you, David. Don't go out on a limb again. Or oh, what? The next time you play the vigilante, the police won't have to come knocking. I'll take you to the station myself. Do you want some toast? Oh, not that. I think you're right. I'll go and see Norwich today. Oh, excellent. You know, we should go out tonight, eh? Go for a meal or something. What? Celebrate my return to work? No. Because we deserve a treat. Because you deserve a treat. It's one day. So? We can't afford it. I don't care. Well, I'll make her something. Yeah, but it's not We can eat long. here. It's a waste going out. I'll do something nice. Uh, OK. I'll get us a bottle of wine and some uh, candles. You expected a power cup? No, I just want candles and romance. You ought to take a trip to the psychiatrist. In fact, I want you to dress up. As what? A clown? <laughs> a rabbit? Rabbit body? No, no, just as the most gorgeous girl in the whole world. Second thoughts, just come as you are, eh? I'll see you in a bit. Mwah. What are you doing today? Dunno. Thought maybe I could have another crack at those witnesses and lurks. If they want to take a bribe, I could try violence. Break the husband's legs with a sledgehammer and I think the wife would say anything I wanted. You need to get back to work. No, I've got plenty of work on, thanks. It's called getting our mum out of jail. By any means necessary? Maybe. Carry on like this, you'll be joining her in jail. Yeah, and then you'll have a house to yourself, won't you? You thought our mum would feel if she finds out what you've been up to? Do us all a favour. Grow up, yeah. Hey, what did I think he was doing? He thought he was helping. Do you know that lad's mind is a very dangerous place? He's a loose cannon. I mean, he won't listen to me. Thought maybe you could have a word. It's like he's lost without his mum around. Yeah, well, they have been close since you and Sarah flew the coop. I thought you should know. Uh, I better get back to work. Oh, all right, <laughs> darling. Thank you, thank you. OK. Oh. Oh, does it matter who told me? It was a stupid thing to do. Yeah, well, at least I'm doing something. Mum's in jail and some people don't seem to care. I care. Whatever she thinks. Why do you think I'm here talking to you, hmm? Do you want anything to eat? No, no, love, no thanks. I'm meeting Natasha later. David, I don't think it's very healthy, you brooding here like this. Why don't you come back to work? Want to take my mind off me troubles? No, you'll be doing me a favour, actually, because we're snowed under at the minute. It's all hands to the pumps. No. I can't. I'm going to visit Mum tomorrow. Yes, that's fine. Gail comes first. 
But then you'll come back to work, hmm? Yeah. Maybe. Right. Smart yourself up a bit. Look a right mess. Does it matter who told me? It was a stupid thing to do. Yeah, well, at least I'm doing something. Mum's in jail and some people don't seem to care. I care, whatever she thinks. Why do you think I'm here talking to you, hmm? Do you want anything to eat? No, no, love, no thanks. I'll meet Natasha later. <sighs> David, I don't think it's very healthy, you brooding here like this. Why don't you come back to work? Not to take my mind off me troubles. No, you'll be doing me a favour, actually, because we're snowed under at the minute. It's all hands to the pumps. No. I can't. I'm going to visit Mum tomorrow. Yes, that's fine. Gail comes first. But then you'll come back to work, hmm? Yeah. Maybe. Right. Smart yourself up a bit. Look a right mess. It's still light out. Would madame like a glass of Chardonnay? There's lager in the fridge. Well, you can have a lager if you want. I'll go on then, I'll wine. Wow, this looks fantastic. It's mostly out of packets. Did you have a good day today? Yeah, you. Pretty good, yeah? OK, what's the big deal? What big deal? You wanted to go out and blow loads of money on a fancy meal. Mm. Do I need an excuse to spend time and money on the woman I love? Yeah. When we skint, you do. I got a letter today. OK. Here. What is it? This is my decree absolute. This piece of paper means, as of today, I am now officially a single man. Right, and that's what we're celebrating. Well, I don't like it. I'm not celebrating it. So what's going on? Tina. I don't want to be single. I want to be married to you as soon as possible. I want a wedding, I want flowers, I want cars, a cake. I want to see you all in white walking down the aisle. Become Mrs. Jason Grimshaw. What do you think to an April wedding? <laughs> I don't get you. What's the big problem? The problem is you don't talk to me. I'm talking to you now. No, 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 no. You got that letter this morning and went about scheming with your secret little plans and then dropped it on me like a ton of bricks. I was trying to be romantic. Why? You all keep on dropping bombshells on me. Well, I was trying to cheer you up, wasn't I? Cheer me up? Yeah, well, I was trying to take your mind off your dad. Why? Why? Yeah, why? Why do you think it was a brilliant idea to get me to stop thinking about my dad? Because I don't like seeing you upset, that's why. Hey, with a bit of luck, I might forget about him altogether. Forget he even existed. Evening, out. What are you doing? Cleaning your windows. I can fit them in just before I have my tea. Or did someone ask you to clean his windows? I'm being supportive. You know, this difficult time with our man being banged up and standing trial for murder, it's important to see things clearly. Hence, the windows. What's he doing? Who's he? The cat's mother. Cleaning his windows. Why? Not to give us a clearer perspective. You tell Gran about the lakes. Was it meant to be a secret? I hope you two boys aren't arguing again now. Let's continue this conversation in the Rovers. I'm skint. Yeah, I'm not. Maybe it's better you tell me what to do, eh? I don't want you to do anything. So how come I can't do anything right? I don't know. Maybe it's just you. And what's that supposed to mean? I don't know, I just said it. I want thinking. Why do you have to analyse everything? Tina, look, I know things have been tough for you because of your dad. But I'm doing everything I can to support you. Well, I don't feel supported. And how was rushing us into a wedding meant to support me? Oh, well, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to upset you, was I? Well, maybe you're trying too hard. I don't know. Maybe this is something I have to do on my own. Sorry, I'm not an expert. Dad's never died before. So you don't want a wedding? No! Not now! In fact, right now, a wedding is a last 
everything that I want. Right, OK, I'm sorry. But we're still together, though, yeah? We're still engaged, right? Why are you questioning me? Because you keep pushing me away! No! Take the hint! Give me some space! I want to be on my own! Why don't you go see your mums for a bit? Because I love you and I want to help. You know, Tina, a few weeks ago you were so excited you wanted to get married. Things change. Yeah, well, I haven't. Made a right mess of things, Anna. Tina, I don't want to leave you on your own. I'll be fine. What did I do that was so wrong? I didn't do it. It's me. I want to be on my own. Everything irritates me. I irritate you. Yes! Do you really want to stay on your own? Yes! I feel like you don't want me anymore. Well, you got that right. But why? You know why. What, and this is all about your dad? Yeah. Nothing else? Like what? I don't know. Can't seem to talk to anyone. I don't know what's going on. Nothing's going on. I, I just want... You know! You know what I want, but you're still here. What do you have to do? Sit some peace and quiet. Tina, why can't we talk about this, eh? Why can't you talk to me? I feel like you're using this as some sort of excuse. An excuse for what? I don't know. Dump me. Oh, yeah. It's been dead-handed dad dying. At last, the perfect opportunity to chump a boyfriend because I'm in love with someone else. Every cloud. And is it somebody else? What? No! Yeah. No, no. Will it make sense, will it, the way you're shutting me out? Just leave it, Jace. It doesn't matter. What? What? It does matter! There's somebody else in there. Is it David? No. But close. I don't believe this. You've been seeing another bloke behind me back? No. But I could have. I nearly did. Would you tell me what's been going on?! A while back, before Christmas, I met Nick in a bar. After we had that big row. I didn't know who he was, we got on and we kissed. He could have turned into something more, but he didn't. You. And Nick. Yeah. Me and Nick. You happy now? I'm sorry, but that proves it. Me and you are finished. That's it. Now, maybe you could go. I'm sorry. You know what Mum would most like to see when she comes out of jail? Oh, me and you acting like real brothers. Sharing a beer and a joke, maybe going fishing or football together. Oi. I've been looking for you. Congratulations. You found me. Hey, Kira. Oh, what is wrong with him? That's a mess around me, girlfriend! Oh, oh, You've been trying on with Tina, yeah? <laughs> it's a flaming nutcase. You ever go near again, I swear I'll finish you off. I mean it! Come on, come on. <laughs> You got a screw loose. You took advantage. One kiss in a bar after you had a fight. I didn't know who she was. She didn't know who I was. Yeah? And then what, eh? And then nothing. She felt terrible. I wasn't interested. Nothing happened. Till you decided to slap me in the face? Look, I think you're my brother an apology. You are? You two as bad as each other. Something wrong in your heads. You're sick, both of you. He's insulting you now. Hey, we're brothers. We stick together. Unless you want to call Todd up for reinforcements. Well, <laughs> all right, hey. that's enough. I Come think on. you need to go on and cool down. 
I'll show you where we keep the door. Come on. Mum would be so proud. Sorry about that. Let's be careful who you kiss. Story of my life. Have another pipe, please, if that's all right. You want another? No, I don't think so. Is he all right? I reckon. Anything else you'd like with a sword? Uh, well, you could pop upstairs, see what Steve's done with the rotor. No problem. You sure, little brother? I know you wanted to pile in there and uh, help me out. Maybe next time, mate. Tina! You're blowing the door! Tina! Tina! Come on, we need to talk! Tina! Come on, mark it, but don't turn left because it's a dead end. No, no, you've obviously gone the wrong way. Look. Look, you're obviously lost. I'm sorry, I've got to go, love. I'll send my condolences to your wife. Bye. What's happened? She's been with another bloke. What? Tina? Yeah. Nick. David's brother. Well, are you sure? I mean, did she tell you? You know, ma'am, one minute I'm planning a wedding, and the next it's all over. How'd it happen, Mum? How'd it get so wrong? Oh, come here. Kissed him and you had, had a row. Why did she have to kiss him, Mum? I didn't go off kissing anyone else, did I? I know. Yeah, I love her. I know. I let her down. You know, when Joe died, I wanted to help. The effort I did was wrong. She's grieving. There is no right or wrong. It just takes time. Maybe it was a bit quick suggesting a wedding. Yeah, but me getting it so wrong, ma'am, it just showed that I'm the wrong bloke for her. So what happens now? I don't know. Is she going to stay in the flat? I suppose. Are you going to come home? <sighs> yeah. Is there any bears in the fridge? Yeah, there's a few. Huh. Won't be enough. I oh, know. <laughs> a glorious sight. Domestic bliss. Don't suppose you find any of my shirts? You suppose, right? Well, that was interesting. But why didn't you tell me about Tina? Now, why would I do that? Because I told you we have history together. I knew something was going on. Sorry. Don't kiss and tell. You want one? No. Suit yourself. It looks like it's over between them two. <sighs> Just a kiss. They'll get over it. I don't know, she's locked him out. Oh. Maybe they won't get over it. Look, was it really only a kiss or was that just the party line? What? You know, get your story straight, admit to a kiss and nothing else. <laughs> you think I slept with Tina? I don't know, did you? On a scale of one to ten, how much would that bother you? No, it was just a kiss. How can you be so sure? Two reasons. One, if it was more than that, you wouldn't be able to resist the temptation to rub my nose in it. And two? Well, that's just you, innit? Tina's got better taste. Tina! Tina! I just want to talk. Can you come down? Sure you should be drinking? It's a school night. How drunk was Tina? She must have been paralytic, looked twice at you. Can't let it go, can you? That's the thing with unpleasant images that stick in your mind. I wonder what she's doing now. Maybe I should ring her. Maybe she'd come round for a nightcap. Yeah, why not? But she's just waiting for you to call. On the other hand, you know, she's just split up from her boyfriend. Father's just died. Might be more sympathetic to give her a little space. What do you think? Yeah, I think you could give her a lot of space, like the size of whales. I see why she liked you. You're funny. Bet you made her laugh. 
Women don't mind going out with an ugly little runt if he makes them laugh. Sticks and stones. You still fancy her. Can't be easy for you. The woman who you secretly love is the same woman who got our mother locked up for murder. Must spin your head. Do you blame her for putting Mum in prison? She's grieving for her dad. True. So you tempted to have another crack. Now she's free. Be a shoulder to cry on. Oh, I mean, she's in a very vulnerable state. All alone in the flat, ripe for the picking. Tell you what, if you don't want her, maybe I'll pop round there myself. A few words of comfort, protective arm round her shoulder. But you're 25 quid a better by the end of the week. You stay away from Tina! Oh, not my day, is it? <laughs> I mean it.